let's discuss some more stocks then sachin shah joins in fund manager at mk sachin hi good morning uh, first up uh, what's your call for the overall market do, do you get a sense that uh, uh, the market has shown peaking out indicators or would you say that it still remains a buy on dips market so i think the undertone still continues to remain extremely extremely buoyant uh, you know we have seen fii's uh, we have not seen any great selling from them for even for this month uh, they are just about neutral in fact in the cash markets they continue to be uh, good buyers we seen domestic mutual funds also continue to be buyers uh, we've seen the oil prices uh, which continues to be below 100 which is a very good macro indicator we've seen the monsoon deficit uh, shrink to almost into you know very very low double digits or almost into single digits and uh, when whenever we meet a lot of corporates uh, and we've seen our currency uh being extremely extremely stable uh, in fact i was just looking at some data and where i saw that you know uh, in the last 5 6 7 months uh euro has actually depreciated by good 6 7% against the dollar pound has depreciated by another good 4 5% against the dollar whereas the rupee has remained very very steady so uh, of course all all due credit to the rbi and the government for maintaining this part because it really helps exporters and importers both with a very very steady uh, currency so you know all these macro factors and even when we talk to some of the companies uh, i mean their export businesses continue to do very very well so i i think the overall uh, the, the sense is that the market continues to be a, a buy at every dip Okay well um, Sachin before I get to you I wanted to pick up one stock really quick which is Sun TV that stock is currently down around uh, 6 and a half to 7 odd percent so do watch out for that remember there is that special CBI hearing on the ASL Maxis case so maybe there is some amount of a sentiment negative which is seeping into Sun TV so do watch out for movements on an intraday basis for that stock but uh, Sachin wanted your thoughts in terms of accumulating positions on the defensive space I'm not talking about today but for example asian asian paints is up 32% on a ytd basis do you think that there's more to go in the likes of an asian paints uh, at least for the uh, the rest of the year yes yeah, so all these brands are extremely extremely strong franchises and uh, you know if one takes a 5 year 10 year 15 year view uh, with the kind of the consumerism boom with the kind of the demographic uh, environment that we are having uh and this companies are going to do extremely well but uh we have to also keep in mind that when you are buying the stocks you are buying at some uh, also very rich valuation uh almost the 35 40 times uh, even one year to your forward basis so if somebody is thinking that they are going to make some good 20 25 percent return in the next two years on each of the stocks from here on i think it's going to be a bit of a challenge so the, the 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 question is that if if you're taking a 5 year 10 year view that these are very strong franchises and you will make a good 15 20% compounded return over a period of time but from here on to make a, a significant money in the next 1 2 years i think it it's it's a bit challenging because of the rich valuation uh, nothing to do uh, nothing wrong with the business or the company it's just the valuations are a bit rich uh such in uh, in the in the mid cap basket uh, what would be two or three stocks that would be on top of your mind uh, that you think uh, are still good bets you know the overall the mid cap space and the small cap space has been extremely extremely well in the last few months right so it's now uh, getting difficult to find value where the mid cap and the small cap companies uh, still have some steam left and where the business growth and outlook is still very very good but a few stocks which we already own and uh, which still look good to us uh one of them would be say vip industries we feel that in the consumer durable space this is one company which has a very very high dominant market share and uh, it is still at a reasonable valuation if you see the way the next 2 3 years they would be delivering and they have one big advantage is that the last year the currency was very bad when a large part of their raw materials is imports so as we go ahead i think uh, they would have already increased the prices and now the raw material the currency is back to its normal level of about 60 or so the gross margin should get better as we go ahead uh, sundaram fasteners is another one company which is also looking very very uh, good to us their export business continues to do very very well uh, there is one more company like gateway district park again where we feel that uh, you know if you see the last quarter results the number they are they, the, the business seems to have getting a lot of traction there and uh, overall also the exim business seems to be picking up even if you look at companies like gujarati power port again where we have a decent stake 
and uh, there also the numbers seems to be very strong and they have a very good infrastructure already set in place for the new growth so these are some of the companies where we are uh, still quite positive okay fair enough sachin we'll uh, leave it at that thanks very much for joining in so that's the view coming in from mk